There's a strange looking beetle in my door. See him down there? I would rescue him, but I don't want to. Good morning, everybody. It is currently five o'clock. Um, I just got to work. Um, I've been here long enough to be on my second cup of coffee. Um, sorry for the artificial lighting. It's very dark here right now. Um, it looks like it's going to rain today. I'll take you guys over so you can see. I would say it's going to rain. Usually the storms come from that direction. Um, yeah, so I have all the barn lights on. I don't know how many there are all together, but I'm going to say there's a lot. Um, so today I just kind of wanted to give you kind of like a farm tour. Um, show you like the main barn, our other barns, and just kind of, you know, show you around the farm. Somebody was commenting in one of the videos that they were surprised that we had wood stalls instead of your standard metal stalls. Um, and the reason for that is about six years ago, um, the old metal stalls that we had, they were loop stalls. It was a metal pipe across the front and they had a metal loop dividing each cow where there is no divider now. Um, and those rusted out and we just thought, hey, those didn't last long, um, let's try to put in some wood ones. There are 36 of these 8 foot sections and each 8 foot section has 2 stalls, so each cow gets 4 feet. Um, there's nothing dividing them anymore. There used to be when we had the metal stalls, like I said. Um, there was a loop that um, hit the ground like right here. You can see that old one. And it just divided the 2 cows, but now we don't have anything. Each cow has their own chain to hook their collar to, and they share a water bowl. Um, I actually like it better that there's nothing dividing them, because I can't imagine now standing in between two 1,200-pound animals and um, a metal pole. Like, I just don't really think that's a good idea now. I honestly love the wooden stalls. They are great. Um, if a piece breaks, instead of having to go buy a whole new piping system, you just go buy a new board. And it's just like super, super easy, and I would never go back to metal. Not that it's my decision, but something on the lens. It's obviously my boss's decision, but I would personally never, ever go back to metal. So, yes, I like the wood. Um, the only problem is they do kick out these um, these 6 by 6s They do get kicked out quite a bit. Um, we just replaced this one and this one from last winter. Um, but what you do is... When they kick one out, you will go to the bottom, and there's a rod that sticks down in the concrete that usually gets kicked out um, when they kick that pole out, and you just hammer down that space where the rod was with a sledgehammer, and you drill a new hole, and you put a new rod in, and then you just screw it up at the top. It's super, super simple, but kind of a pain in the butt. So that's the whole barn. The barn is 175 feet long. And like I said, it has 36 8 foot sections, so it has 72 stalls. We put our calf cages, and the calf cages collect junk, as you can see. And then it has, on either side, it has two other 5 foot walkways on each side, where you get to the feed alley of each side. Um, we park the skid steer here just because it's extremely close to the sawdust bin, which is basically just this rudimentary shed where we keep the sawdust. It has a concrete block where we back up and we dump the sawdust. We dump it right there and then you push it in with the skid steer. Um, this right here, it has another calf pen, which is basically the only calf pen we use in the winter. You can see it's got tarps up on it because the walls in the back barn aren't extremely good. And the cows are like, what the heck are you doing? Let us in. We would keep the very young calves here um, in the winter just because it's warmer and that's just where we keep them. Um, so yeah, and then it has all the water stuff in this corner over here, like the water pump. And this is our old silage cart, we don't use that anymore. Um, as I've said before, the barn has um, four fans. It has three on this side and one on that side. Also, if you guys are wondering, I did count the windows in it the other day just to see how many there were because I was curious. Um, and just on the bottom, there are 99. That's not counting. There are quite a few on the top, on the front. There's like four or five on the top, on the front, um, and another one on the back. So 
there's a lot of windows in this barn and that wasn't even counting like the door over here or the cafeteria door so it's just like an insane amount of windows in this barn so that's the main barn um, it has fluorescent lights all the way down through. Okay, sorry for skipping ahead. You can see obviously now that the cows are in. Um, and there are a couple more things that I wanted to show you about our main barn where we do the milking and the cows stay in the winter. Um, so up here we have the two walkways like we have down at the bottom and actually I believe they are four foot walkways, not five. I guess it could be five feet. I honestly don't know. Um, and then we have over here our medicine cabinet which is really dirty area where we keep our minerals. I really need to clean this up. Um, our cows' um, records are kept in this space here. Um, we usually leave the feed, the baling roller right there. Um, that's where we sit and have coffee. Here we have the pump house, which you've seen before. Um, so this is just where the manure comes and goes down into that hole, and it's pumped underground into our manure pit, which is over there. Um, and also, it's shaped just like the barn, it's kind of cool. Um, but the coolest part about this barn is the upstairs. So I'm going to show you guys that. If I can climb this then. One hand. Whew. Okay. So this little room right here is just where they used to keep sawdust, I guess. They used to blow it in up here. Um, so it used to be just an old sawdust bin. So it's just kind of like this weird room with a window. And then if we step through this doorway, we have some hay. We have about 30 bales up here right now. Um, we just slide them through this door. The bale grabbers on the Kubota. And then we have the barn. This is like honestly my favorite part about this barn because it looks like the underside of a boat. Like all I can think of is like the underside of like Noah's Ark or something. That's like totally what it looks like. And if you look real closely, I can walk over to one. How they did it was they just um, hooked some boards together and then just gradually kept turning like all the way up through. And I just think it's awesome up here, I love it. This thing right here is the old grain bin. I think it held about seven ton. So yeah. But that's officially the coolest thing about this barn. So that's the cafeteria. He knocked his gate off the hinges and I need to fix it. Also, his pen needs to be cleaned. But between our milk room project and everything, everything's just fallen kind of behind. So we're gonna have a lot of catching up to do once we finally finish that wall. And I also have to show you guys that because yesterday we completely tore it apart. And now it's just a giant hole in the wall. So we went and got some lumber. Um, and we're planning on fixing it today, but it is actually raining. Um, like I told you guys, that wasn't in the forecast. It wasn't supposed to rain. Oh my god. And the skid steer's not down here, so now I have to go get that. I'll show you the freestall first, actually. So this is the freestall. This is the gate going out to the freestall. That's a heifer. She doesn't come in because she doesn't like to be hooked up yet. We're gonna have to work on that because she is due to calve in a couple months. She's just very jumpy. It's okay, hon. Okay, so this is the freestyle. Um, if you'll notice, a lot of insulation on the top is missing. Um, that's just because it gets blown down because this is a completely open building, even in the winter. Um, it, the closed side is actually where all the wind comes from, so it's really not that bad. No snow or anything gets in here. It just gets a little cold in here. A full length of stalls on this side and about three quarters of the length of stalls on this side and there's a door right there that we used to bring them through um, but we don't anymore just because we don't have an extra string of cows to milk like we used to um, and then this gate over here you can bring hay in it actually used to be for bringing in silage but we don't do silage anymore um, because the bunk silos are out there um, and then over here, we have the manure pit where we can just push the crap from the freestall right out into the manure pit, and there is a lot of manure, so we're going to be spreading this fall. Here we have an old water trough made of concrete, and this is where we stick their mineral blocks. And out there we have our bunk silos, which 
or overgrown because they're not used. Our pile of tires that we used to use to cover the silage pile. Just some random things. And we're going to put some chips in the stalls because the stalls are extremely low. Um, my boss cleaned out last night and you would not know it because our cows are very messy. And if you're wondering what that thing is that's hanging from the door over there, that is a fly dust bag. <laughs> Cows are all out, we just let them out, and so now for the thing that I've been dying to show you guys. This is what we did yesterday. We spent all our time yesterday working on the wall in the milk room. So the barn is freshly bedded and we're all done. We're going to start working on our wall project, which I just took you guys in and showed you. And I'm going to be honest, like tearing that wall apart made me so anxious and nervous. Like I just felt horrible doing it. Like I was ruining it. I don't know. Tell me if you guys ever feel that way when you're like taking something apart. Like I love building things, but taking things apart just like it makes me all nerved up and freaked out because um, I feel like I'm like ruining it. I don't know. Anyway, so thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, comment down below, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye!